How to get married at the courthouse and what to expect. If you're planning to get married by the justice of the peace, there are different steps to be taken then if you were planning a traditional wedding. What you need. When you decide to get married at the courthouse, you might be wondering what you need to bring with you. Here is a checklist of things you'll need. State-issued driver's license or IDs, birth certificates, social security numbers, at least two witnesses, one for the bride and one for the groom, money to pay the associated fees, and the marriage license. What to expect when you arrive at the courthouse. You'll have to go through metal detectors and security to get into the courthouse. Then you'll let them know that you are there to get married. When you are called in, you'll be directed to a courtroom, office, or wherever the justice of the peace is working. The justice of the peace may say a few words. Lastly, he or she will ask you and your witnesses to sign your marriage license. That's it, you're married. If you want to do more than just sign the paper, you could say vows, exchange rings, and of course, kiss the bride. All in all, a courthouse wedding can be done in less than 10 minutes. To learn more about getting married at the courthouse, visit theweddingblogger.com slash courthouse.